you to watch Alex. Oh, Ma, we're still working on the go-kart. You can do that later. I need you now, please. Okay, Mom. Hey, guys, I gotta watch the baby. Can we work on this later? Sure, Pete. Check you later, man. See you later. Please take Alex outside so I can clean this. <coughs> okay, Mom. <coughs> Come on, Barry, brother. <coughs> no, Alex, you're a pain. You made that big mess in the house, and now I can't work on my go-kart. No, it's true. I never even had these problems before you were born. <laughs> you know, before you were born, I wasn't even sure I wanted to be my brother. TV this morning, Petey. No, meeting the guys. We're going to have a ball game. 80s eggs are perfect, honey. Just the way my mother makes them. Oh, thank you. Hey, Petey, don't wear that hat at the table. Hey, Jim, that's a hat. Right, Petey? Yeah. Nevertheless, old friend, no hats at the table, okay? Okay, Dad. How'd you sleep, babe? Not bad. You were up twice. My back is bothering me. Yeah. Well, maybe you can get a nap this afternoon. Listen, Jim, I really want to get Petey's room finished. The doctor said the baby's going to be here pretty soon. Petey, I've got to get you to Dr. Smith's on Monday for your checkup. Remind me. Okay, Mom. Oh, I shouldn't let things go like this. Don't worry about it, honey. Petey and I will help get things done. Petey, you clean out your closet this afternoon. Oh, Dad, do I have to? I'll bring the crib in, and we can both do the papering, okay? But, Dad, my room. My room. I'll bring the crib in.
gotta go. Hey, home by noon so we can start in your room, okay? Okay. Wish you cared as much about your teeth. Hey, Petey, wait up. Look, son. Mom gets a little nervous and upset sometimes, you know, with a baby coming and all. And that gets me a little tense. It doesn't mean anything. Yeah, but all you guys talk about is the baby. What about me? I live here too, you know. Come on, Petey. You're our boy. Don't you ever forget that. Okay? Good luck at the game. Thanks. You know, he's a good kid. I know it. What do you think he feels about the baby? You mark my words. That baby's gonna mean almost as much to him as that hat. <laughs> baby girl. Huh? Don't mind Kel, her brain's not well. Hey, I read a poem. Don't mind Kel, her brain's not well. Don't, Don't mind, mind Kel, her brain's, brain's not well. Well, Petey has to go home for all diapers. Petey has to go home for all diapers. I'm wearing a Kel little. I'm the baby in my family, and I'm fantastic. Hey, 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 hey. 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 Mom's having a baby. That's why she
is on the counter. Okay. toys out from under your bed, please. We'll sort them and give away what you don't want anymore. But I want them all. Well, move them into the carton for now, okay? Come on. Peter, help me move your bed, please. To where? Over by the window. The baby's crib has to go there. It's the only wall the crib and the changing table will fit on. But what about my stuff? We'll move your stuff. But, Dad... My hook! What? My hat hook. Dad, please leave it alone. That's where he always hangs his baseball hat, Jim. See, Dad, I come in, hit the lights, and hook my hat. Well, we'll move it over there. Then it won't be in the right place. Come on, Dad, please. Honey, the baby's crib has to go there. The crib, the crib, that's all that's important is the crib. Peter? Apologize to your mother. Never mind, Jim. Peter, just go outside and play. Looks like he's really fed up. The hook stays. Oh, hi. Hi, hey, man. Thought you weren't coming. I changed my mind. Is your room ready for the baby? The mom and dad are going to do it. Hey, what's the matter with you anyway? Nothing. Nothing. I'm just sick and tired of babies right now, okay? Okay, okay. Hey, Petey, I know. When the stork comes running, you say, In the five blocks down the other way! Yeah, funny. <laughs> Probably think that's the way babies do come. I do not, Oscar. My sister said they found me at the dump. I don't believe her. I do. Ha <laughs> ha, right, man. Thanks a lot. Oh, thanks. All right, Smarty. Just where do babies come from? If you don't know, Oscar, I'm not going to tell you. Bring the babies, because my mom's going to the hospital for hers. I've come for my baby. Uh, do you want a boy or a girl? A girl. A girl? A blonde, a brunette? Red hair, please. That's extra. Red hair. Eyes? Brown. His father has brown. Brown eyes. Fetching. And an order of fries. Hi, you're my baby. Don't forget your fries. Well, of course you get babies at the hospital. But the baby comes out of the mother's stomach. No, Alex. I didn't know anything about babies till you were born. I don't even know what question to ask. Dr. office. <laughs> Mrs. Anderson? This is Dr. Smith's office. The doctor says not to let Charles eat any more dog biscuits. Well, if he gets nasty, give him a bone. 
fine. Goodbye. Come on, Petey. Let's okay. get in here. Come on, Petey, right in here. Listen, I'll be right back. Okay? Strip down. Oh. Down your underwear. Come on, sit down in here, Annie. I want to talk to you. Hello, girl. How about some fresh squeezed orange juice? Oh, no, thank you. Okay, all right. By the way, I saw Julie the other day. We talked about getting together again. Sounds good. But how are you feeling these days, Annie? Anxious and fat. Lyndon, really worried about Petey. He's been kind of mopey lately. And I'm pretty sure it's because of the baby. Uh, you know, every new baby upsets a household even before they're born. I'll say. I've been an absolute bear lately. To Petey and to Jim. Now, oh, hang in there. It'll soon be over. And the real fun begins. <laughs> Listen, Annie, I've got to ask you, have you had a chance to discuss childbirth with Petey at all? Well, sort of. No, I don't mean just, you know, mother's going to the hospital kind of thing. I mean, where do babies come from? The whole story. Don't you think he's a little young? Well, I don't think he's a little too young. Listen, if you'd like, I've got a film, and we can show and tell. I'd like. Okay, you wait right here. I'll examine Petey, and we'll set up something. Peter James Evans is here for his annual checkup. Da da da! Let's take a look. Good heavens, last week it was poison oak. The month before it was a sprained wrist. I'm gonna charge you rent. Get up on the table here. I've got to look you over a little bit. Just uh, please your mother. <laughs> Open big. How you been doing lately? Hi. Oh, I see. <laughs> Land's all right. How's the wrist? Let me look at it. Does it go up and down mm -hmm. like it should? Works like the other one? You can throw a ball? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. I better listen to your heart. I'm sure it's beating, but uh, there are probably some things I ought to be doing. Cold. Yeah, cold. Petey, you want a brother or a sister? Well, it doesn't really matter what I want. Rough time at home, Petey? Well, yeah. Your mom's been an old grouch lately? Yeah. Yeah. Listen, Petey. Your mother's been carrying that baby for nine months now. She's pooped. I've got an idea. I've got a movie about babies and how they were born. Would you like to see it? Yeah, but I have to ask my mom and dad first. Oh, absolutely. Tell you what, I'll ask your parents if you can come down Wednesday afternoon when the office is closed. How's that? Yeah, but can I bring my friends Kelly and Oscar? Oh, certainly, sure. No problem with that at all. Listen, I'll have to ask their parents first. Yeah. And if it's all right with them, it's all right with me. I love an audience. <laughs> Let me, uh, I haven't uh, felt your liver for a while. Why don't you lie down? Let's see if that's getting swollen up. You've been drinking a lot lately? Mm, juice. <laughs> that won't bother your liver. That's good for you. No. Okay, you're in good shape. Oh, no. no, I wouldn't be doing this if I had something better. No. Oh, come on, Kelly. You would, too. <laughs> Well, maybe. Maybe just to brush up on my facts. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oscar, what did your mom say about all this? Well, Mom's at work. But Dad told Dr. Smith maybe he'd come, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, where are we going to meet the doctor anyway? You know that yellow door mark screening room right near his office? Yeah. That's where. Oh. Hmm. Hey, it's good to see you. Glad you came so early. This must be Kel. Yep, yep. Hi, Kel. Hi. Boy, I'm just dying to find out what I'm going to say. <laughs> Come on down here. Okay. Okay. Wasn't there another kid that was going to yeah. come on? What was it? Oh, oh, this must be Oscar. Yeah, Hi, Oscar. Yeah. Good to see you. You're just in time. Let yeah, me open this on, and I'll huh? get a light on here. Get a checkup. That's right. Yeah, let me get the light. All right. Neato. Let me see this place. I love it. Absolutely. Okay, right. gather up a chair and get in close here. Kel, sit right over there. Bad. Sit down. Me too. Okay. <clears throat> now, lady and gentlemen, welcome to Anatomy Street. Oh, oh. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. enough of this yeah. chat. You came here for a show, right? Right. Right, all right. Now, let's go on with it. Lights. Camera. Action. 
you are now about to see the most extraordinary of all creations. It's amazing. It's extraordinary. It's mysterious. It's... it's woman. The human female body. That's it? I mean, what's so great about a woman? Well, that's easy. Only a woman can give birth to another human being. Hey, there's one for women. Since I told you girls were better than boys. Hey, Dr. Smith, when are we going to start the movie? Right now. Let's oh, get this good. show in the way. Right. <laughs> Okay, okay, now, simply speaking, it's a group of parts in a woman's body all working together to help make babies. Oh, me. Wow. Can we get a closer look? Yeah. 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 Now, you watch closely. This is when the miracle really begins. What you see before you is the female reproductive system. Oh, so uh, this is a female reproductory system. Uh, hey, Dr. Smith, what's that? That part is called an ovary. There's another one just like it on the other side. See? But how come there are two of them? Because they take turns. This month, it's that ovary's turn. Turn to what? <laughs> now, you see that? Yeah. Technically, that's called ovulation. That little thing is an ovum, but most people call it an egg. Egg? Uh, hey, you mean like a chicken? <laughs> Gee, does Rue really have eyelashes? <laughs> Not really, but the men who made this cartoon thought that eyelashes and such would be more fun. I do, too. Is that the baby? Kitty, I worry about you. <laughs> and it's not the baby. Well, Is yes it? and no, Kelly. <laughs> oh, shush. Go ahead, Doctor. The egg is the mother's contribution to the beginning of life. Well, what's the father's? Hey, hey! There's, there's a whole bunch of tadpoles on the screen. There's the father's contribution right there. And they aren't tadpoles. They're called sperm. That sperm's doing the Australian crawl. <laughs> that one's doing the backstroke. And that one's late for supper. <laughs> or it's evil can evil. Dr. Smith, how did the sperm get from the father to the mother in the first place? That's a good question, uh, Petey. Let's sit down and I'll uh, work out an answer. Well, this happens when a man and woman are making love. It's called having intercourse. The man and the woman come so close together that a part of his body, called the penis, fits into a part of her body called the vagina. It is during this loving moment that the penis releases the sperm. So you mean all those sperm? And just one egg make the baby? Wow, there must be a jillion of them. No, Oscar, it's just one of those sperm joining up with the egg will make the baby. Which one? Kind of like the first one to the egg's winner, right? Exactly. Hey, look, the sperm are going through the tunnel. That tunnel is called the fallopian tube. It guides the egg from the ovary and protects it until it gets to the uterus. The you what? The uterus. Another name for it is the womb. Like in Exactly. But they're going to crash. Let's hope they do. Why? Because if they do, it will be the first step in the creation of a baby. They crashed. Right. And that action has a special name. It's called fertilization. Oh, no. Now it broke. My young friends, you have just witnessed the very beginning of a human life. Oh. Now it's stuck. And
and that's where the baby stays and grows until it is born. That bunch of blobs sure doesn't look like a brother or sister to me. When you think about it, it kind of looks like my sister. Let's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. speed things up a little bit and I'll show you. Hang on, everybody. Okay, now there's our little mother. Let's see what the baby looks like. The baby's been growing inside his mother's tummy now for three months. His little heart has started to beat, and you can already make out his face. Yeah, he kind of does look like a baby. Stop saying he, he all the time. I mean, it could be a girl. How um, big is she, Dr. Smith? Of course the baby could be a girl, Kelly. She's about the size of your fist at this point. Notice that uh, the little person already has fingers and toes. Yeah, they look just like toothpicks. <laughs> they are, but they're all there, and that's what's important. Now, let's move ahead to when it's six months old. That's really something, okay? Now, let's turn it around so we can get a better idea of the baby's size. There. Wow. Son of a gun. She, he sort of looks like an astronaut. An astronaut? Yeah. You know, Point. floating around in space. And he's hooked onto the mother ship by his, um... Umbilicus. Yeah, an umbilicus. <laughs> That's a good comparison, Petey. The baby is attached to the mother, and the astronaut is attached to the mother ship. And uh, it's all done by their umbilical cord. And they both are completely dependent on it for life. That's right, Oscar. That's where your belly button came from. <laughs> wow, son of a gun. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at that. He just kicked. Yeah. My mom's baby's been kicking for a long time. I felt it. What did it feel like? Sort of like a big toe wiggling under the covers. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, I felt it. Is he really asleep? She... All right, she. Is she really sleeping? Yes, the baby is really sleeping. They can get tired, too. Well, uh, she's uh, probably just, you know, bored. I mean, there's nothing to do. Oh, I don't believe this. Look. Hey, kid, uh, look at him or her. <sighs> hey, kid, get your thumb out of your mouth. You're going to ruin your teeth. <laughs> Not teeth yet, Kelly. But the baby has almost everything else. Got nails and hair that works. Even eyelashes. <laughs> Is the baby ready to be born yet? Not yet, Oscar. Not yet. He still has a lot of growing to do. How much uh, longer? You'll see, my friends. You'll see. Now, moving right along, we now oh, see that the baby is... huge! Wow, that baby must weigh about 150 pounds! Oh, my more like, <laughs> no, more like six and a half pounds, Oscar. And he's only about as tall as your arm. Well, then how come he's standing on his head? <laughs> he, he turned about a month ago, Petey. But that means he's getting ready to be born. I mean, that's all to it? He just stands on his head and it's bored? Well, not quite. See, the, the walls of the uterus here have very, very strong muscles in them. When it's time for the baby to be born, these muscles squeeze the baby out, down through the vagina and out into the world. <laughs> oh, it's not one long squeeze. Actually, it's more like a whole lot of pushes. They're called contractions. Does that hurt the mother? Well, the contractions start as a little tummy ache. These are called labor pains. They do get stronger. When do they stop? Now, Petey, this may sound funny, but many women say that the pain is the most exciting part, and it's well worth it, and it stops the minute the baby's born. So, now, wait a minute, I'll get the phone. Dr. Smith here. Oh, hello, Jim. I, I just... Petey, it's your father. Yeah. Oh, great. I certainly will. Now, why don't you let him keep me company for a while? We can wait for the good news together. That's great. Now, uh, give Annie my love and tell her I'll see you all later. Right. 
Goodbye. Petey, your mother's on the way to the hospital. Everything's all right. I told your dad you'd stay with me here at the office until we heard from him, okay? Okay. Let's have a celebration. The treat's on me. Come on. Petey, here's to your mom. To your mom, Petey. Petey's mom. Right, yeah. <laughs> How long do we know? It won't be long, Petey. It depends a lot on your little brother or sister. You see, some babies take longer, maybe four or five hours, and others are more anxious to get here. Will she be okay? Your mom? She'll have the best of care. You see, once she and your dad get to the hospital, she'll be taken into a labor room first. The skilled doctors and nurses who deliver hundreds of babies a year will get her ready and help her count the seconds between contractions. Right this way, please. You're doing well. Soon you're going to have a pretty baby boy or baby girl. Okay, is this it? Okay, I'm not sure I'm doing. All right. Breathe easily. Yeah, there we go. Concentrate, babe. You're gonna be fine. Come on now, relax. I had a girl. I'm doing fine. Come on, Oscar. I want to see you. Come on, come on. I gotta see too, you know. No. I may turn on her and make them all blurry now. Oh, oh don't. don't. Okay. Please. Okay, look at it. Take a deep breath, let it out, take another one and hold. Okay, hold it while it's in, so you can set your uh, yeah. diaphragm in it. Okay, come on. You ready? Okay, take a deep breath. I don't know what I hold. Oh, okay, now take another one. Hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is it better than the first one? Oh, really? I don't even remember any of this. Okay, it's great. It I thought just... you were so preoccupied with the pain. What did you say? I said it's so incredible to be able to, uh, the first one, I was in such a pain that I didn't know it, you know, didn't know anything that was going on. You okay, Daddy? Daddy, I'm going out. Okay, you're going to go. Okay, there's a question time. Great. You're completely dilated and ready to go. Whatever you say. I will tell you. Everything is just super. Perfect. Baby is in good position. Heartbeat is good. Give me a hand. Okay. Um, okay. Do you have any contraction? John? Okay. I want you to start lifting up. Oh, take a deep breath in. Take a breath. Oh, it is? Set that light for Bear down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Go down, take a deep breath in. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can tell you see the light from there? Oh, you can let it all out, honey. Let the breath out. I can just see the top of the baby's head coming to now. So a lot of hair. Start here. Start here. Uh, not red. It's over. Okay, now relax. Relax. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's hold out. Hold out. Take a deep one. One more. Hold it. Okay, it's coming. It's coming. It's not going to set any world records. No, we're all right. I want you to really tell her what to do now. All right, relax. Hmm. Yeah. Check the door. Take a deep breath and let it all out. Okay, nice cleansing breath. Take one. Let's go. And hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two,
For sure. Can you see it? Okay. Now relax. Okay. Put it all out. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Put your head back. Yeah. You're doing fine, sweetie. You're the baby. Gotta keep you breathing, Juan. There's the hair. You're coming out from liquid. Okay. Let's go. That's over. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, everybody, hold. Look at those eyelashes. <laughs> Look at the area. Can you see it? <laughs> okay. We'll suck out the mucus. Okay, we're going to deliver the baby up now over the abdomen. But you're going to need some help because I've got to get the rest of the baby out as soon as I get the airway to it. Can you see it? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, here we come. Oh. All right, I want you to push now. Big baby. Push on, push. <laughs> okay. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. That's it all. Here comes the baby. Here comes the baby. It's a boy. Okay. 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 Keep your hands under the drape. Okay. Yeah. That's wonderful news. Congratulations. Well, of course he is. Just a minute, just a minute. Dad? Yeah? Oh, hi. Oh, that's free. Oh, Dad, that's free. Mom, okay? Oh, good. Yeah, then I'm fine. Okay, Dad. Bye. I got a baby brother! Tonight, following the presidential address, Colt tears up a town to clean out the nest of crooked cops who...